So I'm often asked what I've been doing in terms of speech technology research. And there's a lot, because bear in mind, it started last century, back in 1991. And in those days, it was mostly digital signal processing. Signal processing techniques on DSP chips from companies like Texas Instruments and Analog Devices. The kind of things I worked on were speech compression, speech enhancement, a little bit of um, voice activity detection, and very um, simple kinds of storage techniques for speech. Moving forward, I started to embrace AI technology, and this includes things like deep neural networks, convolutional neural networks, and recurrent neural networks. And these opened up a completely new area of speech research um, that's basically mimicking how the human brain understands speech. So the things I've been doing there, a little bit of uh, automatic speech recognition, it's not my speciality, but I've done some things in terms of model reduction and uh, performance improvement. Quite a bit on speech enhancement, a lot of language identification, and that's taking really short clips of speech and identifying rapidly and with high accuracy which language is being spoken. And then extending that to dialect identification which is the same thing for languages that are subdivided into multiple dialects. Moving forward, there's also speaker identification, both verification and validation, and then even emotional identification. So taking a short recording of somebody's speech and then identifying what kind of emotion they're feeling as they speak that. And this includes both personalized, i.e. something which is trained for one person, and non-personalised, I was trained for everybody methods. I've also been working on voice activity detection and, and speech activity detection, uh, especially in noise. On top of that, I've done a little bit of um, diarization, and some AI for speech compression, and I've been looking at, as I've talked in another video about machine hearing. So that's using computers to understand what's in the environment around them. And that ties very closely to speech. I think that AI also means that we have a lot of future things to start to explore in the realm of speech technology. And I think that recently um, AI has moved away from digital signal processing techniques but there's a need to start to merge these back together, to take the best of signal processing and the best of AI and combine them together to make real world, realistic, real-time systems. And that's an exciting area for the future.